Have you ever been certain of a memory that turned out to be false? This is the crux of a phenomenon that has sparked curiosity and debate worldwide. We're talking about the Mandela Effect, a fascinating occurrence where a significant number of people remember an event or detail in a way that starkly contrasts with reality. It's like a ripple in the fabric of collective memory, a puzzle that defies explanation. This is the mystery we call the Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect, a term coined by Fiona Broom, describes a situation where many remember past events differently from what records show. Imagine, for a moment, a large group of people who share a vivid memory of an event that, according to the annals of history, never actually happened. Fascinating, isn't it? That's the Mandela Effect. The term originated from an intriguing instance of collective false memory involving the iconic South African leader, Nelson Mandela. A significant number of people from different corners of the world distinctly remembered Mandela dying in prison during the 1980s. They could recall the news reports, the mourning, the heartfelt speeches, all in vivid detail. Yet, in our recorded history, Mandela lived on, walking free in 1990 and serving as South Africa's president from 1994 to 1999. He passed away in 2013, leaving many people utterly baffled by their own memories. The Mandela Effect is not simply a case of poor memory or misinformation. It represents a phenomenon where groups of people share the same false memory, with an intensity and specificity that seems to transcend the usual bounds of forgetfulness or confusion. It's as if these individuals have tapped into a shared consciousness, an alternate timeline where the course of events diverged from our known history. This phenomenon was named by paranormal consultant Fiona Broom, after she discovered at a convention that many others shared her false memory of Mandela's prison death. This spurred a wave of interest and speculation, leading to the identification of numerous instances of the Mandela effect. Ranging from misremembered movie quotes to altered brand logos, these collective memory discrepancies serve as fascinating glimpses into the mysteries of the human mind and perhaps the fabric of reality itself. They challenge our understanding of memory, perception, and the nature of reality. It's a phenomenon that has puzzled and fascinated people around the globe. The Mandela Effect invites us all to question, to explore, and to wonder at the complexities of our universe. Could it be that we're brushing against the veil of parallel realities? Or is it simply a testament to the fallibility of human memory? These questions are at the heart of the Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect extends beyond the misremembering of Nelson Mandela's death. It's an intriguing phenomenon that has led to numerous debates and has sparked a great deal of interest. To better understand, let's dive into some of the most well-known instances of the Mandela Effect. Firstly, let's venture into the realm of children's literature, where we encounter the beloved bear family, the Berenstain Bears. But hold on a second, were they always the Berenstain Bears? Many people distinctly remember them as the Berenstain Bears, with an E, not an A. Yet, every book in existence today spells it with an A. Could this be a case of widespread misremembering? Or is it a glimpse into a parallel universe where the spelling is indeed different? Next, we move to the world of tabletop gaming, specifically to the classic game of Monopoly. Picture the game's mascot, Rich Uncle Pennybags. Does he sport a monocle? If your answer is yes, you're not alone. Many people remember him donning a monocle, yet in reality, he never has. This discrepancy between collective memory and reality is another instance of the Mandela Effect. And how about one of the most iconic lines in film history? Luke, I am your father from the Star Wars franchise is a line that has been quoted and parodied countless times. However, the actual line is, no, I am your father. Despite this, the erroneous quote is the one that seems to have imprinted itself in our collective memory. Even geography isn't immune to the Mandela effect. Many people recall learning that Sri Lanka is located directly south of India, when in fact, it is southeast. Similarly, some remember New Zealand being northeast of Australia when it's actually southeast. Could these geographical misplacements be another manifestation of the Mandela Effect? These examples are but a few among many. Other instances include misquoted song lyrics, misremembered events, and even altered logos. Each one seems to hint at a collective memory that doesn't align with our reality. It's as if our memories belong to a slightly different world, a parallel universe perhaps where these details are as we remember them. 
Such examples raise questions about the nature of our reality and our memory. Is it possible that our memories are inaccurate? Or could there be something more profound at play here? Could these discrepancies be evidence of the existence of parallel universes, where things are slightly different? While these questions remain unanswered, one thing is certain. The Mandela Effect is a fascinating phenomenon that challenges our understanding of reality. It prompts us to question, to explore, and to delve deeper into the mysteries of our universe. These examples underscore the prevalence and impact of the Mandela Effect. It's a testament to the fact that reality, as we perceive it, may not be as straightforward as we think, and there's still so much left to discover and understand. Now imagine a reality where your memory was not wrong, but simply belonged to another universe. This concept brings us to the theory of parallel universes, also known as the multiverse theory. The multiverse theory, in its simplest terms, suggests that there might be other universes besides our own, where all the choices you made in this life are played out in alternate realities. To understand how this theory fits into modern physics, let's delve into the quantum world. It's a place where particles can exist in two states at once, known as superposition, until observed. This bizarre behavior led physicist Hugh Everett to propose the many worlds interpretation in the late 1950s. According to this interpretation, for each possible outcome of a quantum event, the world splits into two universes. In one universe, the particle is in one place, in another universe, it is somewhere else. The many worlds interpretation is a radical departure from the traditional understanding of reality. Instead of a single, unique universe, it posits an infinity of universes constantly branching out, creating an immense tree of realities. One way to visualize this is to think of life as a choose-your-own-adventure book. Each decision you make opens up a new chapter, a new universe. But unlike the book, where previous chapters are closed off, in the multiverse, all chapters are being written simultaneously. This brings us back to the Mandela Effect. If we exist in a multiverse, our consciousness might be able to travel between these parallel realities. And when it does, it could carry memories from one universe to another. This could explain why you remember something one way, while the reality you currently inhabit reflects a different history. Your memory isn't faulty. You've simply slipped from one universe to another. What about shared false memories, you ask? Well, it's possible that groups of people have collectively shifted from one reality to another. This could account for the large number of people who remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison or recall the children's book series as the Berenstein Bears, even though in this reality, he became South Africa's president and the books are titled The Berenstain Bears. The multiverse theory is a fascinating, albeit mind-bending concept. It requires us to rethink our understanding of reality and memory. It suggests a cosmos where anything and everything that can happen does happen in some universe or another. As we explore these otherworldly ideas, we must keep in mind that they remain largely speculative. Despite being rooted in the strange world of quantum mechanics, there's currently no direct evidence supporting the existence of parallel universes. Yet, the Mandela Effect continues to spark curiosity and debate. It challenges our perceptions and makes us question the nature of reality itself. Could these false memories be evidence of our experiences in these parallel realities? What if the Mandela Effect is not a trick of the mind, but a glimpse into an alternate universe? This question has sparked a fascinating dialogue among scientists, metaphysicians, and curious minds alike. Could it be possible that the Mandela Effect, this collective misremembering of shared events, is actually evidence of parallel universes? Let's delve into this intriguing prospect. The theory suggests that each instance of the Mandela Effect is a footprint of a parallel reality. So, when we recall an event or detail differently from the recorded history, we could be tapping into a memory from an alternate universe. Imagine a vast multiverse an infinite collection of realities, each slightly different from the other. In one universe, Nelson Mandela died in prison in the 1980s. In another, he was released and became the president of South Africa. Each universe has its own distinct timeline, its own unique historical narrative. But what if these universes aren't entirely separate? What if they overlap, intersect, and interact in ways we're only beginning to understand? Consider this, when we sleep, our conscious mind rests, but our subconscious continues to explore. 
Could it be possible that during these times, our subconscious mind wanders into these parallel universes, gathering experiences and memories? And when we awake, these memories, these echoes from a different reality, merge with our own, creating these instances of the Mandela effect. But it's not just about sleep. The theory extends to our waking hours as well. Have you ever experienced deja vu, that uncanny feeling that you've lived through a moment before? Some believe this could be a result of our conscious mind momentarily stepping into a parallel universe where that event has already occurred. Then there's the concept of quantum superposition, the idea that a particle can exist in multiple states at once, as proposed by quantum mechanics. Could our minds, on a subconscious level, be capable of a similar feat? Could we, in essence, be living multiple lives in multiple universes simultaneously, with the Mandela effect being a manifestation of this incredible phenomenon? Of course, these are theories, conjectures, and hypotheses. They push the boundaries of our understanding, and they challenge our perception of reality. But isn't that what discovery and exploration are all about? To question, to ponder, to push beyond the known into the realm of the unknown? As we continue to explore the Mandela Effect and its potential connection to parallel universes, we should keep an open mind. For it's in the spaces between what we know and what we don't, where true discovery lies. Could we be remembering events from a parallel universe we once inhabited? Perhaps. And perhaps in asking these questions, in exploring these possibilities, we're taking a step closer to understanding the true nature of our reality, our universe, and ourselves. Of course, not everyone agrees with this hypothesis. Even within the realm of metaphysics, where the boundaries of what is considered possible are constantly being pushed, there is a healthy dose of skepticism surrounding the connection between the Mandela effect and parallel universes. Many critics argue that our brains, sophisticated as they are, are not infallible. They are susceptible to a variety of cognitive biases and memory distortions. False memories, for instance, are a well-documented psychological phenomenon where a person recalls something that did not happen or happen differently from the way they remember it. This, they argue, could explain the instances of the Mandela effect rather than the existence of parallel universes. Misinformation effect, where post-event information alters a person's memory of the actual event, is another psychological explanation proposed. The critics point out that in our age of information overload, it's easy to be influenced by the multitude of data we consume daily, leading to altered recollections. Then there are those who subscribe to Occam's razor, an age-old philosophical principle that suggests the simplest explanation is often the correct one. To them, memory errors seem a far simpler explanation than parallel universes. But let's not forget that science thrives on skepticism. It's what propels us to question, to research, to seek evidence. It's what prevents us from accepting ideas at face value and encourages us to delve deeper. So while the connection between the Mandela effect and parallel universes is indeed a theory that stretches the boundaries of our current understanding, it is a theory that invites us to question, to ponder, and to explore. It nudges us to step out of our comfort zones and to consider possibilities beyond our known reality. Even if the Mandela effect turns out to be nothing more than a quirk of human memory, the exploration of such theories enriches our understanding of the world, of the universe, and of ourselves. It prompts us to question the nature of reality, the fabric of our existence, and the vast, uncharted territories of the cosmos. While we may not have definitive answers, the exploration of these concepts opens our minds to the vast possibilities of our universe. After all, isn't that the very essence of metaphysics and scientific pursuit? The quest for knowledge, the exploration of the unknown, the unending journey towards understanding. This, dear explorers, is what makes the journey worth every step. In the end, whether you believe in the Mandela Effect or parallel universes, one thing is certain. As we journey through the cosmos of knowledge, we must remain avid explorers, forever seeking, forever questioning. The answers may not always be crystal clear, and indeed, they may not even exist within the confines of our current understanding. But therein lies the beauty of the quest. The world around us is a treasure trove of enigmas, each one a tantalizing invitation to delve deeper, to challenge our perceptions, to redefine our reality. We must embrace these mysteries, not as barriers to our understanding, but as catalysts for growth, 
for innovation, for enlightenment. So let us continue to probe the depths of our collective memory. Let us continue to traverse the intricate web of realities that may exist beyond our own. Because in doing so, we acknowledge that the universe, with all its mysteries and complexities, may be far more expansive than we could ever fathom. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the unknown. If you enjoyed this exploration of the Mandela Effect and parallel universes, please show your support. Like this video to help us reach more curious minds. Share this video with friends and family who love a good mystery. Subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Your engagement fuels our journey into the depths of knowledge and mystery. Thank you for being a part of this quest. Stay curious, stay questioning, and stay saged.